In this very quick video guide, I want to show you how you can check the history of the undo and redo. Uh, you can manage them and increase the level of undo. Now, this is a question that was uh, made by a user of the channel, so I'm just answering to this question. So, uh, basically, there is no an, a panel, like in, for example, in 3ds Max, where you can access the history, but you can go up here, and you can directly go to the undo history uh, sub-menu. So let's create something here. Let's create like uh, a cone and then I'm going to move the cone and then add here a, another object like a sphere and then I'm going to move the sphere. And that's it. So these are considered actions for Blender. So if now I go back to edit menu, you can see that I can go back and you can use Ctrl Z to go back and you can use shift ctrl z to move forward so if i do go back with ctrl z you will see that i'm, I'm gonna see the, the latest actions going backward and then i'm back in the original state of the scene and again this is thanks to the undo redo which we find in every software essentially so to redo i'm just gonna go here and quickly redo now with the undo history, I can check the various commands that I have um, prompted. So if I want to go back to select, I can click there. And if I want to go back to the original, I can click directly there. Or I can go to add the UV sphere, for example, and so on. So it's really easy and uh, user friendly in a way. Now, another tip I want to give you if you go in the edit preferences, you can increase the level undos if you go uh, right here into system and right here in the memory and limits, you have the undo steps. Now, usually this is 32 and the maximum will be 256. And this is the one that I choose because then I can go back a lot of times. Now, this is going to affect the memory of your computer. So uh, basically, it's going to occupy and use more RAM. Now, another really important thing to know is that when I close the Blender application, when I quit Blender, well, that's not going to save the undo and redo. So make sure that if you want to save your steps, you, you need to create more files and save them with different names using save us or just create copies of your object that you have been modifying in your scene so again this was a quick video guide a quick example but if you enjoyed please subscribe also for other video updates on blender and also for other video guides and video courses in other software you can already find a lot of videos in the channel so go and check it out and if you want to support us please join the channel as a supporter so thanks for watching, see you in the next one.